very scared. It's it's scary times. Also, I have a Lamia, and she's very happy. Oh yes, the sweetest bean. Hi. Um, yeah. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a good good stream. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to like hype the game up that much and be like, oh, you're gonna, you're definitely gonna cry. I probably will, but I fucking love this game. Um, let's see, yeah, Mama. She's very content right now, which is unfortunate because I'm gonna have to set her down here in a minute. But she just wants to snuggle. She just wants to cuddle. Don't you, baby? Um, but it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna- I hope it's gonna be a good game. I hope everyone enjoys it. Um. Yeah, no, she just sleep it. She's just- It's hot and miserable. And she just wants the cuddles. Yeah. She makes it very difficult to, like, hold her because she ragdolls a lot. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's just happy with being held right now. It's very hot though, and you're not making it any better. Yeah. You wanna, you wanna lay on my foot rest? She's a good kid. We love her. Hi. I am the cat lady now. No. Um. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna play cat lady, and I hope everyone enjoys it. It's. Oh, sorry, straighten out my shirt. Making sure I'm not running over the cat. Um, it's one of my favorites. I haven't played it in years. I am always the cat lady. I, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Forever cat lady. Does me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm like trying to think of anything that I, like anything else I can say about it. And there's not much. It's probably even more... I don't know. I imagine there are parts of it that are more intense than I remember it, and other parts that are less intense than I remember. Um, so it'll be interesting to go back through it, especially now that I'm older. Because I haven't played this game in, like, four years or so. And I played it a couple of times when it, like, first came out, when I was in, like, high school. So it's been a while. Um... But it's fantastic and wonderful, and there's, like, a new addition to the series as of, like, a year or two ago called Lorelei that I want to check out at some point. So I guess, like, without further ado, we'll, like, we'll get into it. I'm gonna pause Spotify real quick. Hi, Debo. Speaking of cat lady. Um. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure that I like how I have it set up at the moment. But I think this is about as good as it can get for now. How does the game sound? I know the music's a little softer than what we're, we usually hear when we start out a game, but I want to make sure that it's fine. I messed around with it a little bit. Ooh, you're saying as I, like, elbow my desk and knock things over, it's fine. Um, I don't remember there being, like, a ton of, like, puzzles that I have to write shit down for, but I got got my notepad and my pen and I'm ready to go um and I think the thing is like fully voice acted too which is nice It'd be very easy on me <laughs> which I appreciate with how heavy uh how breathing heavy our after our uh weekend stream currently is but yeah this is cat lady and I guess let's just do let's just do the thing My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Um, for anyone who is here- hold on, it's gonna stop the game for a second. For anyone who is here who has not, uh, seen my preface for it, and if you need content warnings at all, there's a link there that shows all of the possible, uh, content and or trigger warnings that we will Come across in this Some game. would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true, but I don't Pointing. like people's company. Pointing that out now because it starts lately, on a heavy anyway. note.
I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly. But Babies. they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. Hi, kitten. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. I did say it started out heavy. <laughs> Art style for this game, very odd, but I love it. I love it. And I want to say there are seven chapters in total. House in the Woods. arrow keys. Weird. <gasps> Mama. A body has been discovered. I mean, to an extent, yeah. <laughs> Jen, hello, welcome. How's it going? How are you doing? Are you ready to experience, like, my all-time favorite game? <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> but yeah, added a couple new uh, sound effects. <laughs> ah dang! Well, looks like you got you gotta. All right, let's examine. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. Um, God, okay. I love this game. Um, I love this game. <laughs> so I'm glad you at least like have an idea of what you're getting yourself into. Um Yeah, I don't <laughs> How's your day been? How's it going? Oh, I meant to ask uh Fruity as well, but both of y'all, how are the how were the board games earlier? Did you have fun? Jump scare. Examine. Oh. See, ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there's still- uh, there is no exit at all? Can we open the door? Let's see what's inside. Pretty good, lots of fun trolling. <laughs> what did you guys end up playing? Um... Can't go any further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? What's making that noise? Let's go find out. Hello? Who's there? Answer me. Ma'am. Oh, dang. Look closer. It's me. A cold, dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? Um. Can we just examine? It looks so calm. Turn the head. I didn't like that noise. 
Open the eyes. Not enough people for code names. We click love letter. Merchandise and Carcassonne? Is that how you say that? My eyes. Just about one thing I liked about myself. Even now, they still shine a little. Is that a key in her mouth? In my mouth? Better take it with me. Down for inventory. Okay, alright. Are we just gonna keep the tutorial up there the entire time? <laughs> but good! I'm glad y'all had a good time. Run, Susan! Get it? Nope. Tunnel nearly collapses on us. We are unmoved. Does not matter. Hello, dear. <laughs> Goodbye, dear. Never mind. I didn't want to say hello anyway. We are inside! Examine the planks. Hole's been boarded up with these planks. Sign underneath says, emergency power switch danger. Oh, emergency power switch. Okay. Um, look through. There's definitely something there. Can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. Pull. I'm not strong enough to pull them off with my bare hands. Oh, okay. You're trying to pull the planks off. Never mind. Should you go chase after the deer? Also, it's just a little thing, but I like the fact that your hair changes directions depending on which way you're facing. So I like, I don't, it'll be better once we like get more into it, but I have like such a hard time like making a comment about the game like initially, just because I'm just like, oh. it's already so much nostalgia and it's great and I love it. Goodbye, dear. Dear's not really that, you know, in that much of a hurry to get away from us. Body hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that the key? Can I search? Body is too high. Best cut it down. Okay, so we're opening the door. The door seems bolted from the other side. Can we rope is tied into a knot? It would take me hours to undo this kind of knot. Well, Susan, I need to I can't something. remember this place. Am I lost? Probably. I'm glad it was the- I'm sorry I couldn't be there. <laughs> Stuff to do this morning. But like I said, usually like uh, Wednesday mornings will be fine. <gasps> Good for her. <laughs> what a gruesome display. This is not my head stuck on the bars. Open. Locked. Go back then. <laughs> Jen is here. Everything is great. <laughs> Party in chat. Wait, why'd you turn around? I'm supposed to follow the road if I remember. It's 
showing me the way out. <laughs> oh no. Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? Pull out the knife. Well, now we got a knife! A bolt. And now we're here. Uh, use the knife. On the rope. Cut down the body. Body. Look closer. Uh, examine? I look like I'm just sleeping. Search the pockets. Empty. Take the key. Leave. Good job. 10 out of 10, we did it, guys. Oh, goodness. too far down. Hold on, let me try there. Is that good? Are we happy with that? Well, actually, let me also move chat. Okay, hold on. I will hold, I'll let you, like, actually listen to it here in a second. I have it in windowed mode this time. And so, I might just move chat to where I can, like, just see you at the same time as the game. Do I want to put you there? No, I want to put you there. Sorry. Let me just move everything around. No, I'll leave chat where they are. Where you guys live. That's where you live. That's where you stay. Um... I'm being a bit quiet. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I can speak up a little bit. Like I said, some of it's just like, I don't know. I'm just so overtaken with nostalgia right now that I'm just like, I don't know Welcome what to say about the to game. my house, Susan Ashworth. That seems like it's very I loud, have been though. So I'm going to turn it down just a smidge again. There. Ting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? As per usual, do just I let me know if so things are... Many if the sound's it's all weird. It's hard to pick one. But I'm curious. Who do you think I am? Um... Is she deaf, an old lady who lives in the woods? Are you God, or are you the devil? <laughs> Not ominous at all! Cat ladies, <laughs> your head's gonna fall. I mean, honestly, it might. Say death. Death. Also, hey Nate, how's it going? Interesting. Yes. Perhaps that's what I am. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. So you're greedy. I am doom. <laughs> but how's I'm it going, man? How you doing? Salvation too. I'm feared by most but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Oh, but you do. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while, keeping you company. Always there, you know? Always there. So I was wrong. You're not death? No, I am not. Perhaps it's a very good I game. Am life. But then again, does it really matter? Um, I was saying it earlier. This is like one of my all-time favorite games. It's been a while since I played it, um, and it's always interesting to like revisit it when I am in different head spaces. I suppose you could say. Um, it's very good. It is. It can be pretty intense at times, so if you need it, we do have uh, trigger warnings in the chat. Um, but you can glance over and see if it's all all okay for you to handle. Um, if you need it up, because 
I think it's been a while since you showed up in chat. It's exclamation point TW. What um, is this place? But it's a good this game. My dear, it's a very good game. It's my humble kingdom, and this house is my castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Yeah, lady. <laughs> Today, you are Arcade my alone. guest of honor. Um, well, dope. If you do need a link or just want to put it on your wish list on Steam, uh, you can use exclamation point game link to uh, link you to it. But it's, yeah, it's one of those games where it's like I highly next? recommend everyone experience it. It's Depends so on good. you, Susan. So good. <laughs> Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. It's good. It's very good. There are a couple of points where the voice acting is a little iffy, but like, it's. it's Please good. don't touch anything, dear. I Ma wasn't I was going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. <laughs> And you Talia, to thank you yourself. for the follow. I super duper appreciate it. Um, I want to say this game came out in like 2011, maybe earlier than that. It's uh, it's older, that's for sure. Um, ah, yes, I'm so glad that. Okay, I'm really glad that you like it. It's also one of my favorites. I haven't played it in a bit, and so I'm very excited to play it. Um. Glad that you are familiar with it, but if uh, I do just like to point out and remind people that I do have um, trigger warnings in the chat that can uh, that you can pull up with a command exclamation point tw if you ever need to look at that because uh, I like to offer that for any of the games that we play. <laughs> um, is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. No, we can to talk her. properly, my dear. Uh, I still don't really know who you are. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Is there s anyone else here? Yes! <laughs> right? Right? I still oh. don't really know who you are. I'll let them get through their thing I and I'll go have my by spiel. many names. I've never paid much notice to what the living call it's me. So good. But there is one name the fallen ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Is that what you are? Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. <laughs> dead and gone. I guess that's me. So yeah, when I first uh, came across this game, I watched it it's like through somebody's play uh, playthrough on YouTube. Um, I was going through my own shit at that point. Got through this game, and like, you know, I didn't. <laughs> wasn't cured or anything, but it definitely left me feeling better about things. And just like, again, it, it in the way that it represents all of the stuff that it tries to broach is so beautiful. Um. All right. So yeah, will I be punished for taking my own will life? Will I be punished for? taking my own life. Most people it. would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. All the love and support Who knows? You need. <laughs> I could be your only friend. I'm sorry, shit's being tough The for only you, friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. 
I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Um, is there anyone else here? Is there anyone else here? <laughs> that laugh. Hi. Those I arms. thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. That's gotta stop myself from saying stuff, because I don't want to spoil anything. I... <sighs> so good though um what do you want, what do you me, to want do? me to do i'm yes. not gonna spoil i promise i think it's time to explain <laughs> but I where to, like, my manners be super mindful still in the of like <laughs> this is not <laughs> the a place for a serious talk follow me to the next room i'll oh, tell no. you everything You'll you need me. to know a day <laughs> A dairy What's your fruity. offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, I death believe it. can fix nothing. They 100% can do we it. Are both dead, <laughs> I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as God. You'll find a workaround and eventually. I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I need you to go back and face. Five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special. Just like you. Only in a slightly different way. Um, Those five people, one? who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have <laughs> nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt I'm gonna start you, doing that anytime I talk now. They'll want to kill you. I'm not gonna that... We'll as homeless be. as they might appear, <laughs> parasites are the evil scum of the earth. She's very and they wiggly. All deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. I a I tool of destruction. <laughs> a dark angel walking through the river of blood. You'll find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me. And we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Oh, seems a little vengeful, but uh, what makes, makes you think you I want to go think back? I want to go back. I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. So stompy. Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. 
but you don't cease to exist. You remain. She's just being dramatic. It's fine. Are you expecting me to kill it's them? Fine. No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. Queen of Maggots is I know you're not a murderer. Quite opposite about everything. You're a good person. But I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd Man, get rid of them you're without about. thinking <laughs> twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And the chance to save yourself. Um. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? So Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever I mean, it's it not I fine, but it's fine. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. <laughs> I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Can I give Susan a hug? people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I, know I don't want them. Anything, There's nobody like, there for me. It helps. I am alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose like you, I said, Susan Ashford. Very heavy game. <laughs> I know how you feel. Because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you we are succeed, striving to get the good ending, though. Never feel broken That's the again. point. I'm trying to get the best possible ending. So we'll see if we can do it. Uh, I can't do this. But yeah. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. Oof. That's Man. why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. <laughs> Yeah, but the last thing she wants to do is come back and deal with everything again. I, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's blackmail. Blackmail? You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. Ma'am. Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. You will either go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. Uh, all right. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? This door? This door here? Right. <laughs> Let's the ultimate, the ultimate irony. I want to show you something oh, that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. I will follow. Let's go. I don't really have a choice. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come close. Say hello. I don't want a to body look had Haven't been I had discovered. Enough yet? That body in the ambulance. The <laughs> then the forest. But this place is. This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Yes. Make it go away. 
Oh, goodness. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you would endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you count. Ma'am. <laughs> look at the cross crucified all alone in one place that's changed it all. I really don't want to be here. It's stuck in the cross. I suppose I could easily pull it out. Pull it out. Use a crowbar. As useful as these things can be, there's nothing I can do with the crowbar here. Okay, never mind. Death? Susan, it's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Hands over there, still just casually headbanging. Take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. I take orders from nobody. Thank you, Arcade. I'll do it my way. I'm trying again. Don't you understand? There is no other way. I got, I got well, the achievement. I'll do it my way. I don't know that. Ugh. Besides, you could be lying to me. How do I know you aren't? I'm no murderer. I don't want to be. I mean, everything's just giving me so many feels. <laughs> what? Look, I appreciate you giving me <laughs> that chance. Don't get me wrong. I can see thanks, now thanks, that Paul. I've made a mistake. <laughs> and I'm ready to try to fix my life. But I really don't like what you're saying. If there's one thing I learned in life, it's that Thank people you let you down moments, all yeah. the time. If I don't rely on myself, I can't rely on anyone else. You fool! You damned arrogant fool! You have no idea what you have just done! Oh, I but know. fine, have it your way. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. Okay. I always am. <laughs> I'm not gonna insult her. <laughs> you baka. That's yeah. He's sarcastic. Don't laugh too hard, old woman. That's how I cope with these kinds of situations. You might break something. <laughs> when we meet again. You will beg me on your knees to give you a second chance. I don't really believe in second chances, so I might have to disappoint you again. Look, this is all just a bad dream. I want to wake up. I'm back in the house. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't <laughs> need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do. Right, though? Like, mm, no, I'm good. I don't think I'm gonna insult this, uh, seemingly, seemingly all-powerful being in what is assumably her realm. I can't get through these. What the hell are they, anyway? Those are maggots, Susan. Hey, Susan? Those are maggots and they're making bad noises. I don't like those noises. Examine. Strange. The flame seems strong and steady, but there's no smoke. It's not a very <laughs> arcade. No. <laughs> arcade. No. I don't want to. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. Oh, sir. Good opening music, though. Nope, still no smoke. I think that's enough for now. Are you sure? What the? 
this How is did not I the get back here? I've gone. Oh, wait, I've got the crowbar. I can uh, take care of those planks in that room with the machines. I forgot about that already. But it's fine. Hi, welcome to the cat lady. It, start it starts off with a bang. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't, I can't stress it enough that it's, it, it can be pretty intense, uh, but it does end love, like, beautifully, and I, I love this game so much, so much. Go inside. Let's get rid of those planks. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep like mentioning I don't everything I just want to make sure everyone's cool that we're all good like again I know I know this is this game can be rough but we're all here together and we're gonna get through it and it's gonna be great uh, sign underneath says emergency power switch danger all this blood around the hole was someone hurt here I mean, we don't got any other options, right? Reach inside. We didn't need that arm anyway. Arms are unimportant. No, the deer was earlier. I feel like that's very loud and I'm sorry. Panic a little bit. It's fine. Oh, we can leave though! <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get rid of a limb or two to like progress. It's fine. we go. You did it! Thank you, sir. Hey, makes me feel like I'm in a nice life. <laughs> I can see that. 100%. Ugh. I love this game. Sorry. I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna say keep saying that. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, so those those are the opening credits. Um Welcome. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I think I've already yes, fucked it up with the golden I do golden enjoy ending, fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always oh, wanted guy. to be Sorry. an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. Very I often say that extremely. patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, <laughs> obviously. I look at the damaged human mind, and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry. I'm probably boring you. Yes, you are, sir. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course. And go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. Psst, Fruity! Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out what? how to help you. You? You also, don't trust as a someone? nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Is it because he's a condescending Honestly, therapist? Susan, because that's a completely legitimate You have nothing to worry about. 
This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? But yeah, I think I was supposed to just be like, not sassy. She's awake, Doctor. To the Queen of Maggots. Um, good evening. But that's It's fine. good to see you awake at last. We'll still get a good ending. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain function is just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. Incorrect. We've checked your internal <laughs> organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? I, nothing. Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Wild dreams, Would you like me right? to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. So, yeah, I guess I'll leave this up to you guys. Because we could probably, like... I could probably zip through the, the beginning pretty quickly. Um, do we... Because like I said, I wanted to go for the golden, en golden ending, but I already fucked it up. Um, so do we want to go back and try and aim for that, or are we happy I'm with sorry, just getting... I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? The good I have ending. to take your blood pressure. Two seconds, and I'm gone. Two seconds. My name is Liz, by the way. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance Actually, is part of my wait. stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate I this place. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw, that was a chance. One Never mind, in a I think we're on the on the right track for I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an eighteen year old. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Thanks. Also, it says that my blood pressure is 124 over 70? That's... Yeah, alright. <laughs> Blue Night over Tina Oh, shit. I have to add that song to my playlist. Hold on. <laughs> hey, hey, Armature? Hey, Armature? That's bright. And I would like to keep my skin now getting rid of my skin it is a cursed playlist that's for sure i don't plan on ever listening to this playlist i just need to get all these songs in a single place bad dream hi liz um N no just a dream like any other oh that's fine then i nearly woke you up you see so you're tossing and turning as I came in here. Oof. You look like you were having a horrible nightmare. I get nightmares sometimes. I get them, and I can't wake up. Or sometimes I dream that I'm falling. Those are strange dreams. Because I think I like them. I keep falling, but I never fall, if you know what I mean. Never hit the ground. Never. <laughs> it is. I'm glad you've looked at it. You at least have seen the playlist. Um, what was, what your, name was your name again? I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I always do that. So sorry, Susan. My name is Elizabeth. But you can call me Liz, like everyone else. 
You're here a lot. Every time I open my eyes, I see you. They make auxiliaries do crazy hours, you. Seriously, I feel like I've got no life sometimes. I'll be here till the morning. To be honest, I keep coming here to hide. Please don't give me away. I just want to rest my legs for two minutes, that's all. Bad nurse is bad. What happened to me? Well, how much no, do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... All of a sudden, I was on the field of barley. It was great at first. I felt happy. I was free. But it Mama. soon got worse. There was this Mama. tunnel. But there was no light at the end of it. Only darkness. Then I got lost in the woods. There was my dead body hanged on the tree. A burning car. And a crow. And a deer. I heard something behind the trees, but I didn't dare to look. Then I found the house. The old woman who lived there, I think she was death. Or maybe she was the devil, I'm not sure. She said they call her the Queen of Maggots. She said I should go back, gave me another chance. And so, here I am. Weird dream, eh? Maybe it wasn't a dream. I really believe in that sort of stuff. It's not impossible. <laughs> it felt real, but it was just a dream. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Yeah, your who? daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter yes why why do you look so pale all of a sudden susan <laughs> right though, i don't Arcane? have a daughter. susan's bad at listening sometimes Whoever but i mean she i guess is, we can give her a pass lied. this time but why would she do that how should i know uh, i was in a coma also yeah apparently. feeling when it's too hot to do so karate she lied. it doesn't change why? the fact that you owe her your life i was fine i, wish I didn't ask for, for any like, help cool her down sorry Hi. Just staring at me now. Um, How long, long have I been here? been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at seven in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward, because all the patients who come here want to die. Liz, it's a suicide no. watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. When will they let me go home? Oof. I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that. But you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should. No warn penny you. ward. Only There's dime. This doctor here. They call him Doctor X. Is he he's related a chief to of Mr. psychiatry X? in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you, and he—he's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? Facts! I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. <laughs> at least I think so. It's an all right. She's never home at evil night. name. Let's, let's... Maybe she works at night. Like well, you. Let's not inflate yeah, it more than it's, uh... I don't leave for work wearing red stockings is. and heels, do I? No. You're right. You're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. 
Damn well, it, Liz. I did it just once, really. Just the like once, actually. Much. He didn't like me that much either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days, he chose that one, eh? He never God, she really do like to. But I don't care anymore. Anyway. <laughs> Tell me about this doctor. Tell X. me more about this Doctor X. His name who, who is Xavier him? Zellman, but everyone just that's a hell of a name. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh, yeah. No doctor will they say ever a big offer word. free sessions. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew. Linda. I heard they had an affair. Linda. Stupid girl. Well, she left, and I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. I'm concerned he covered about what it this up is. And what have you, got what have you done? Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. Pretty. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really <laughs> say a bad word about no, it's, him. No, it's personally. fair. We need nice well, things every once in a while. One thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? I'm a laugh. He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> I'll try not to get too close to him. <laughs> Arcane now that I think about focusing it, on this evil this doctor name too. thing. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. No, I it's think that's just odd. you, Liz. I don't exactly hide things from people. But he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't I... even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But... It's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. Action I think I made Dr. it very clear X. when I swallowed those pills. I'm here for it. Uh, okay, so we already did that. Did you see did this Did you daughter? see this daughter of mine? No, sorry, Susan. Apparently she came in the ambulance with you, but then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. <sighs> She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just do, because of that? Do you want me to spoil it for you now? So. Or, that or do you want to find out on hero. your own, Freddy? Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility, too. <laughs> Have you got anything very precious in your flat? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, can she tell us more about Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman. Wait, we've but everyone been just this. calls him Dr. X. No! He comes on the ward often. Oh, usually late okay. in the afternoon or I guess we're in going the evening. This again. I personally really like him. But you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly oh, and supportive. Goodness. Some doctors won't he's even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some <laughs> problems. I he wish I could I'm skip dialogue. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. My assumption was that, that I, I hadn't explored that himself. one, or that what there was more information to it, and oh, yeah. there was not. They say um, he's a big flirt. Nurses, so we're going to hear about how he patients, will go, go after anyone care. wearing a skirt, as long and how as he's got a, a skirt, funny smell. One girl I knew. No mention Linda, of uh, nunchucks, real action kicking, or eye patches. She left, and I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? <laughs> Dr. X got her knocked up. 
They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Mama. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him. This is such a long bit of well, dialogue, and I understand well, why they would let you, like, repeat maybe. it. Don't but laugh, I, okay? But I got it the first time. He's got a weird smell. So what do you mean? Double eye patches and turns people into cats. Maybe. It's a very specific smell. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. But I think I know oh. the scent you're talking about. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get oh, too goodness. close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. Yeah. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. Do we really it's very know? odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. I just need, I need us to get so to the point where we meet best Be girl. prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed oh, no. those pills. Oh no. Um, okay, I'm tired. Let me I'm sleep. tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. You should definitely put it in. Uh, trust here, Susan. Stream. Oh you. my God! How do I know He's you're not perfect. Wonderful. You don't. The, the Viking helmet. But my favorite. Really like a bad person to you. I. Oh my God. I don't know. Maybe not. I love him. I'll see you tonight. I love him. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. Until they're not. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? That sound. We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. That changed, though. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom Mama. of your problem. Count to ten. And tell me when you're ready, Susan. One, two, three. Dr. X, talk to me. Want to wait? Guess we're ready this to isn't all about whether you're nuts or <laughs> Sorry. not. Sorry, oh my god, like my allergies are... Before. It's about finding today. what has caused how you're I'm never you're saying that again, I'm so sorry. And creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can yeah. we talk about your childhood first? No. Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Had a great dad. No, he wasn't a good father to me. I was brought up without a father. We get to decide our, our childhood. Great dad. Wasn't, wasn't great. No father. What option, y'all? I don't think this matters for endings. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is uh, Susan is a dwarf. <laughs> I mean, we could just have like the idyllic childhood. Great dad, great mom. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder, I tr I'm trying to think of like what I've said previously. We could just say that we don't have any parents. That's fine. Is that what we want? I was brought we'll up go, without we'll a father. I understand he wasn't there when you were growing up. Can you tell me why? What happened to him? He... Died in an accident, left when I was little, committed suicide. Died in an accident. Died in an accident. I'm not sure what exactly happened. All I know is that it was a car crash. Oof. I was told he died instantly. Let's Oof. talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? abducted by aliens. Do we want to go with this like whole tragic background thing? My parents both died when I was very young. 
Or I had a wonderful mom. Or do we not have any strong preferences? I kind of want to go with wonderful mom. I don't want her to just be all sad all the time. Gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit go. Wonder I can't mom. Complain. My mom was great. <laughs> she Aww. did her best to make up for the loss of my father. Me and her, we were like best friends, like soulmates. We did everything together. Also, look at baby Susan down there. She passed <laughs> away seven years ago. Her forever broken heart finally gave up. But she did give me a wonderful childhood, despite everything that happened. I will always love her for that. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. Don't That's pretend enough you know about me, your parents for now. Let's take two minutes, and we will talk about something else. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Yeah, but they're gonna be weird about it and not let you leave. Hold on, let's examine this. It's a clip-on hospital wristband. It's got my name, birth, date of birth, and hospital number on it. Hiccups. <sighs> um. Bed? Oh, I didn't actually want to lie down. I have no idea what that said. I just wanted to get up. <gasps> Not the blackout hospital, you say? Needles are stuck at 10.08. It's probably broken. Or maybe it just needs new batteries. <laughs> that doesn't make me concerned or anything. <laughs> it's probably broken. Or maybe it just needs new batteries. Okay. Okay. Gloves rack. Examine. It's full of latex gloves. Three different sizes. Those... Should be nitrile, not latex, because people have latex allergies. Take one glove or take lots of gloves? Take one glove. I'm not greedy. Um, that's just, that's a hand. <laughs> Single latex glove, size medium. All right, well. Oh, oh, I could have looked at the sink. Drug chart. Get locked up in a good ending if you steal too many gloves. No. I've just worked in hospitals, and it's always the worst when people take more gloves than they need. I say as somebody who constantly sold gloves from the hospital. It's a list of drugs for patients inside room, too. I guess it's me, then. Not a lot of sedatives, it appears. Stuff they're giving, uh, giving me could knock out a horse and give it a headache for a week, too. It could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy, I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no good medical reason. That's what they do in psych wards! Bunch of uh, chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. Wow. Alright. Tell me how you really feel. No way I'm taking them. I don't like flowers, especially chrysanthemums. Side room two. They must be keeping another... Another suicidal nutcase in there. That's... Susan, we don't use that kind of language. It's a list of drugs for patients inside room one and some notes. According to this, her name is Anne Burton, 35 years of age. Um, it's true. She would be ready to throw down. <laughs> She's taking lots of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. Seems that on top of uh, on top of it all, she's taking methadone for heroin withdrawal syndrome. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady, I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. Nurse? Uh, look at? I bet she thinks some red-rimmed glasses make her look attractive. I know her kind all too well. Completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and closed-minded. Wow, we're just, uh... We're just laying it on, aren't we? Ma'am? Um... I feel much better now. Can you I please discharge I feel much better me? now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He Ugh. should be doing his round very soon. 
Please return to your bed and wait for him, all right? Right, though? Right, though? Some of us need need glasses, Susan. I'm sorry we don't all have your perfect eyesight. Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry. A lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's no. nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. Doing I'll come what? And talk to you minute, all right? Can I look at this? It's a discharge letter for Anne Burton, currently a patient inside room one. Right, like you would think, even if you don't work with her directly, you think you would see her name on like, uh, on like the schedule or something. This must be patient files. They're piled up on the desk. <laughs> Let me through, I'm going Excuse home. Excuse me. No. Where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? What for? Some free, of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It of sounds course. like we're prisoners here. Sam, hello, it's welcome. for the patient's safety, ma'am. Yeah, if you haven't lady. been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid game. I can't let you favorites. through. <laughs> May I ask what your name is? We're all here, holding hands, taking care of each other. Um, I'll come back okay. later. Please do, ma'am. We'll be right here. Processing all the fields together. It's going to be very, very good. I want that discharge letter. I'm not allowed to have it. Um. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's it's okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Captions. <laughs> God, doesn't she look confused? Is this Anne? Another patient. Strange. She looks like someone I know. Hi. Are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Tra trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger, and you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. Do they? I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a oh, good friend of your mother. Poor, I miss her so much. This poor lady. I can't remember you very well, but you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. Everybody's so wobbly name. in this game. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... <laughs> what is my mother's name? Mother. Mm. Her name is Mother, right? Mm. I don't know. Um. Alice. Alice! No, you're wrong. Leave me alone. Please. Okay. Just leave I'll me go. alone. <laughs> don't mind me. I'll just leave. What's in here? Examine? It's a toilet door. Enter. A <laughs> Bugsy Moon? Absolutely, 100%. 100% <laughs> real, actual name. Looks like it hasn't been emptied for a while. There are lots of discarded uh, medication pots in there, among other gross stuff. Let's take one of these medication pots. Where are you putting this, Susan? Please stop writing messages on the mirror. While we're currently experiencing difficulties maintaining high level of cleanliness due to... Sudden absence of our cleaning absence of our cleaning staff. We ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. 
Can't look at myself. The mirror's cracked. A large shard of glass is lying on the side. That seems dangerous. Can we run the hot water tap? Somebody's definitely written on it, right? Look at it. It's rather filthy. Flush. Open lid? Look at. Nope, still, still filthy. Can't look at myself. Alright, we'll take the shard of glass. If they find it on me, they'll think I'm a complete psycho. That might be useful too. I'll risk it. Turn tap off. That's not helping me. <laughs> I shouldn't do this, but we're doing it. Someone is coming. Oh, it's this lady. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? I just wanted to see if you were going to show up. <laughs> I just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go home. <laughs> In case you forgot. Um, I pressed it by mistake. I'm sorry. I pressed it by mistake. Sorry. Oh. All right. It happens, I guess. I'll see you later. I'm going to press it again. I'm not. I'm not going to. Um, let's go. <laughs> I guess let's go. Uh, can we go in here? Examine. It's full of latex gloves. Three different sizes. Take, take a glove. Take I've one. already got one glove in my pocket. All right, never mind. Lie down. I'm not sleeping in somebody else, someone else's bed. Well, why not? <laughs> I need you to tell me the name of this, my neighbor patient's mother. Meals are stuck at eleven forty. Are all clocks broken in this hospital? That seems. Irresponsible. Can I just leave the sink on? I f Can we... I was certain that turning on the tap was gonna do something. Apparently not! Alright, well... Sink? Wet bandit strikes again. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Can we? I'm dying for a wee ever since I woke up. Susan. Susan. Uh. Well, we're all very close with Susan now. Cold tap? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we'll open and leave. What can we. I mean, I know that they said. I mean, I get it. There's no shame in her for having to go, but, uh. <laughs> She's not wearing pants, Arcade. I don't... I think you, you've done this bad. <laughs> I tried to make her. I did turn the tap to cold. Turn it, turn it to cold. Turn it to hot. Okay, well... Lie down. I don't really want to sleep here. I'm not tired anyway. Okay. Can we... Look at her chart again. Ann Burton, 35 years of age. She's taken lots of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. Um, does her discharge paper say her mother's name? Currently a patient inside room one. Seems she's admitted herself into hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. All she'd have to do is show this letter to security guys outside. Please do not touch these. They well, are then... all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. That's what I'm saying. For something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks. 
but I think I'll pass. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Talk to? Hey, do you know my friend's mother's name? Can, Can I, I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. Ma'am. Can I? Shall we swap our name bands? Mother always told me not to talk to strangers. <laughs> I can't take it. I, I'm being good now. Only talk to my nurses and good friends. This is popping though. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful, a beautiful name. name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Anne Burton. No, that's my name. You don't know my mother, you little liar. No, I've just leave me alone. Her name. Please, I've just, just forgotten leave her name. Me alone. Don't worry. I've just. It's just a temporary, I've temporary forgetfulness. What can we do? Hold on. Can I examine the gloves? Single latex glove, size medium. It's a disposable medication pot for pills and liquids. It's a very sharp piece of glass from a bro broken mirror. Okay. What can we do? What things can I accomplish? Hold on. Can I use the glove? Don't need her. Alright, well. Tap. Her mom's name is Lay Latex Go Lovers. <laughs> also, Emmy, hello, welcome. It is Cat Lady. I'm already stuck. I mean, Nurse said that they were going to be giving out medication soon, right? But I don't want to take it because they've given me enough to tranquilize a horse. And that's not great. She's gonna get Please do not touch these. Uh, they are all confidential documents. So I need to I was only out. going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Anne's are you one of the name. housekeepers? Why Excuse did you dress me, up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? Ma'am. Um. I know what I have to do with the shard of glass, and I can't do anything with it just yet. Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's no, but being used at the moment. Can you please <laughs> come back in five, in five minutes? minutes? Thanks. What if I just don't? What if I just don't come back? Can I give you the medication pot? I don't think she'd want an empty medication pot. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Turn tap off. I hate the sound. I just like to get close to my friends. Oh, pillow, look under. There's something interesting under the pillow. Can I look under her pillow? Let's go look under her pillow. Yeah? There's nothing interesting under the pillow. Well, okay, actually, maybe can I use... Can't think of any use for this right now. Well, you're not thinking hard enough. Hold on. Pillow, that's all that I can interact with there. Bed. Clock. Loves sink. Medication pot? Okay, no, can't, can't do that. 
Turn tap off. Uh, if you remember what to do, please, please tell. I don't remember what to do. I remember I remember what I have to do after all this. But I don't remember up and I don't yeah. Oh! Oh! I think you're right. I forgot about that. That does sound right. Here I was trying not to be greedy. I was like, no, no, no. Just the one glove, thank you. I'm gonna be mad if, like, Susan makes me go and grab a single glove each time. Take a lot of gloves. Let's go. It's true. We are supposed to be kind of a menace. I don't wanna- I don't wanna be a total menace, though. I don't wanna give the queen of- uh, the queen of maggots. You know, the satisfaction. Lie or I'll. Uh, hold on. Let's use. Don't need it right now. Actually, that's not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to look at the mirror, examine. Okay, or not. Yeah, wouldn't let me put the gloves in the in the toilet. Is her name Eileen? Come on, Eileen. That's another song that needs to go on there. On the playlist, that is. Uh, if you to. really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. <laughs> it's true, it a is just a single name. one. Hold on, let me But try. I know it. Let me just think for a second. Joan Mary... Elizabeth, Mandy, Sarah, Alice. I don't, I don't know. know. No, of course you don't. Leave me alone. Please, yeah, just leave we... me alone. There are our many gloves. <laughs> okay, let's try that. Let's try the many gloves. Many much gloves. Please and thank you. Oh, did it bad again. Yeah, just shove them on in there. Flush! Or am I supposed to go out there and tell her? No, she's gonna come in and fix this. I go out there, I grab the discharge thing. Someone is coming. Hey, your toilet's fucked. Have you rang the bell? <laughs> Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, I say, like I do. I've shoved. I see. I've shoved gloves Fine. into a toilet. Just it out. Just no, it's a good ending. I promise. I promise. Ah, oh, it's the gloves again. Kishu Octo Love, Kishu Octo Love, Kishu Octo Love, heck, where does the time go? Eileen BB, Kishu Llama Black. I love you, BB, too! How's it going? Love show! <laughs> yes, accurate. Thank you for the three months. Seriously, where has the time gone? Oh, I should probably, like, go while she's working on this toilet. Oh, thank you for the sub! Nimbly, I love you. You're great. You're wonderful. <laughs> if people here in chat don't follow Nimbly, you gotta. Because they're super sweet and wonderful and just perfect and lovely and they have the best vibes in their chats. And just... Oh. <laughs> yes! That's exactly what I need to finally go home. Um, I'm doing good. It's good. We're good. We're playing... I mean, you did it to me the other day, but also, it's all true. Um, we're playing this game called The Cat Lady. It's very intense. Uh, it's very heavy. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of very heavy subject matter, so just heads up on that. Um, it's been a minute since, hold on, the music's gonna stop for a second. It's been a minute since we posted this, but there are 
all of the, the content trigger warnings if people need it. Um, yeah, but we're doing good. This is like one of my all-time favorite games. Um, and I love it. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. We're trying to get the golden ending. Um, but if not, we'll still get the good ending, so it's gonna be fine no matter what. But we're all just here holding hands and hugging and taking care of each other. Um, yeah, Does the Dog Die is a really- which is such a terrible name, but, um, is a very, very good website for, like, practically most media, honestly, to give you, a, a very long list of potential content and trigger warnings. Um, it is, I think, like, crowd curated essentially so it's it relies on its audience to fill it out so not everything has um content warnings and some of them might not be the most accurate but it is the most it is the most accurate of all the ones that i can find and actually gives people a heads up of what they're gonna see in games <laughs> yeah we're putting gloves in toilets like we do um no but seriously if anybody here in chat doesn't follow nimbly yet y'all should um because they're great nimbly is fantastic uh we were doing some animal crossing last time how's your embroidery project going bt doves <laughs> um yeah no it's true um so yeah like i said this game is very very intense and very heavy uh but we're here to discuss it and talk about it but i cannot stress enough how beautiful and wonderful the ending is um it's just good <laughs> beautiful wonderful lovely Ugh. i'm very excited to see it when you're done with it <laughs> all right so this is this is my ticket out of here unfortunately it's on ann burton's name i have to somehow trick those guards into thinking i am ann we do actually look quite similar. I was hoping that that would have Anne's mother's name on it. And it does not. Have you fixed the toilet, ma'am? It wasn't you who did it, was it? Absolutely not. I don't know not. what you're talking about. Someone I'm not just a stuck a bunch of. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's sorted now. I just hope it's the last time I've put my hands in that stinking toilet. It wouldn't be stinking if somebody cleaned it. Um, just saying. <laughs> I understand that you're short-staffed, though. I can't be mad about that. Um, <laughs> I don't like that nurse. She keeps lashing out at me. Lashing out at me? And it's like, ma'am, I understand that being a nurse is rough. Alright. I get it. But you don't gotta be mean to me. Especially considering where we are. But you know, that's here to there. Alright, open up. Can I. So the mirror said lie, right? Do I need to lie to our sweet girl? Look at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Joan Mary Elizabeth. Mandy Sarah Alice. A lot Sarah. Of no. Nope. Incorrect. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> like how that and that response, that particular response, was just no. Um. Can I go talk to the nurse again? Do you have anything new to say, or are you just gonna yell at me some more? Um. Make a phone call. I'd like to go, I'd home, like now, to go home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system Wham. in place. Wham. I can't just let you go like that. What? Oh, maybe. Look, I mean, I got I'm the very discharge busy at the note. Moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute. Okay, all right? I forgot about the the other files. I was just like, ah, discharge note. Get that. And then moved on with my life. 
Good call, though. Let's enter. <laughs> Gotta get more gloves, I guess. <laughs> Hi, welcome to this stream. We're just shoving gloves into a into a toilet the entire time. Mir said lie, but backwards. That just mean that must mean that Anne's mom's name is Anne backwards. Nah. <laughs> yes. Accurate. Perfect. Hun like hundred percent. Ten out of ten. Arcade's got it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Open lid. But if we go with that logic, then we can't then we can't shove more gloves into the toilet, and I am enjoying that. Gloves. Use. I already got what I wanted. I want to do it again. With myself. Ma'am. <laughs> we gotta do it again. I forgot what I wanted. I don't wanna have I don't have to do it again. But you do Okay. So looking at the files is not what we needed to do. I wonder if I have to attempt to use the discharge note to progress. We could do that. Let's try that. I might just be like Sorry mom, can't let you through. Step we'll need to see ahead. a discharge letter from your doctor first. Got it. Here. Are you happy now? Got it. Have it. Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burson? Oh. You may not. Right. Name band. I think I left it in my room. <laughs> oh, I'll we've go got and so get bad. it, shall I? <laughs> okay. Well, Dirty looking pillow. There's nothing interesting under the pillow. Is there a way? Can I smell them? I don't like flowers. I don't really, or I really don't care what they smell like. Well, Susan. Look, I know you're going through a tough time, but trust me, they will make you feel better. If you really are a friend, <laughs> you will know my mother's name. I tried using the name the, that haunts uh, me. I tried using the, the glass shard name. on the pillow. Already. But I know it. Let me just I'm think for think a second. Joan, Mary, Elizabeth, Mandy, Alice, Sarah. No new options, right? Joan. Joan. No. You're wrong. Leave me alone. Please. Just leave me alone. I think I've tried Elizabeth, but I can try it again. Yeah, when I look at the discharge file, it just says that it's Ann Burton's name. I need to trick the guards into thinking I'm Ann somehow. We do actually look quite similar. I need to get her hospital banned from her, you know? It's a list of drugs for a patient inside room one. Yeah, there's no real useful information in there. Is there anything else I can do in my in my room? Oh, I wonder if I can use the phone now? Examine. Just looking at this pillow makes me wonder how many people have died with their heads on it. Wow, Susan. I'm sure it's been washed many times since then, but it still sends a chill down my spine. Come to think about it, I nearly died here myself. Wait, I did die for a moment, didn't I? Damn. Something interesting under the pillow. Okay. Can I attempt to use... Nope, don't examine. Use. Alright, yeah. That's the exact same thing that she said in Anne's room. Nurse. Can, Can I make call? a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used That's what at the you moment. said five Can minutes Can you please come ago. back in five minutes? Thanks. Ma'am. Examine. 
specification files are piled up on the desk. Oh, we're feeling woozy. I guess that is the only thing we haven't tried. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys. I appreciate it. We were trying, we tried real hard. There was an attempt made. Press. Uh, we also might take a short break here in the next couple of minutes. Because I've drunk a lot of water today. Someone is coming. And bathroom breaks are important, and listening to all this water is rough. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? I feel woozy. I'm feeling a bit also woozy. Are you really? You yes. look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. I guess but that's I can't what help it if he's busy and can't get here straight right. away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. No, Can I'm you good. please tell me your name and your date of birth? Um, I'll have your name. Susan Ashworth. 24th of May, 1970. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. Do you want me to lie all the way through? That's fine. That's fine. I'd like you to drink this liquid, please. It will help you relax. It will help you relax. What is up with the... No, we're gonna take it. I think I, I think we gotta. That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. I don't think I will. <laughs> But okay. Let's just get high. Now, go back to your room and rest. No! You'll be able to relax and have a great I will sleep. wander around the ward. Sha! Sha! Shania. Or is her name Sha? Of course it was a bad drink. I, what, did you, what did you expect? They were giving me horse tranquilizers. But it's okay, you know why? Because there's this thing. So hard to concentrate. Is this thing filled with drugs? I remember this part. A pinata! <laughs> oh no! I'll fill it with this drug. Okay, I think I have everything that I need. Ugh, bad sounds. What is. Bad loud sounds. Okay, can't go that way. Susan, honey, I need you to walk a little faster, okay? Thank you. Can't go in that one. Hi. Sha. <laughs> Lie down. It's it's time to take a nap. You are lying on that bed improperly, but hey. As long as we made it onto the bed, right? Hey Susan. Good morning. <laughs> The you drugs have worn off, and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. All right, well, look here. We got... If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Is it... But I know Sha? it. Let me just think for a second. Sheila! Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm we sorry did I didn't it. believe you. But my head's all messed up. I like, I like how we've so tried all these different names and have now landed sweetheart. on Sheila. And she's like, of course my mother sent you. Um, so yeah, let's take a very short break for just a minute. So I can go use the restroom and stretch my legs. Um, everyone grab a, grab a drink, grab a snack. 
If you haven't snuggled up already, snuggle up. She might have also had the bad drink. Valid points. Um, but yeah, let's take a, a very short break and we'll be back in a minute. I am curious. I can also go ahead and stop Spotify now since we'll be swapping over here in a hot second. Um, 
that's incorrect. It wasn't 2012. It might have released on Steam in 2012. But when did the game itself come out? Oh, we're already doing it bad and doing them out of order. I guess it was 2012. Was I really out of high school already? No, no, I guess that does track. Okay, I guess that tracks. Weird, wild. What the heck? What the heck? Um. All right, well, I guess Downfall is the first of the series, but it's fine if we play them a little out of order. It's fine. Um. Cool, I'm glad we're all, ha I'm glad we're hanging in there. Doing okay. Um, with some of the games that we come across, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm not necessarily gonna, I'm not necessarily gonna stop and, like, check in on us all the time, but with something that, like, is this heavy, definitely be like, how are we? You guys okay? We doing alright? <laughs> um. Alright. Do you know how to get out of here? Do you know how to get out of right, here? She says it. We're not supposed to get out. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being the good. The red stuff? What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. Oh, ma'am. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I have found it. I see. And I don't want to enable you. However... <laughs> uh, Are you alright? I do need I'm your I'm fine. Band. Yes, it's all fine. <clears throat> it's just hard to wait, you know? They said I can have it. You know, yeah? So I wait here. Don't want to miss it. That nurse promised it to me. The one with the red glasses. But I think it's been three hours already. She's Why so are they late? Do you think something happened? Do you think she changed her mind? Absolutely. Because I swear she if she did, I will hurt myself again. Oh, no. I swear to God, I will hurt myself again. Ma'am, that's not... I'm that's sure not they'll be here in a things. minute. They're probably just very busy. That's all. <laughs> Arcade, don't take my words out... Well, I can't say out of context. That is essentially what I said. Oh. Feel like sharing? What's your name? Feel like sharing? What's your name? There is nothing to share. Everyone died. Everyone... Oh. And my treat, my red stuff, it's not the same. I keep lying to myself. I'm a mean little liar. Always have been. This vein, you see, it goes straight to my heart. That's why it hurts so much. I wish I could, just one more time. But it's all lost now. Everything. I was always happy to settle for a consolation prize you know? Y'all, addiction sucks. Uh, how about we swap How about bands? we swap our name bands? Oh, yeah. I don't mind. But that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Yeah. Well, technically, you wouldn't lose anything, because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. I would just really like to leave this That's fine. Place. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about accents. the real thing. Something so you can only started? get in the no. world of dreams. <laughs> it is not. Now, can that confirm now. It's not. Special. Also, hey Jody, how's it going? Is it <laughs> safe? 
It's perfect. Did safe. you see Mork? Were you here when I um, had Mork? Okay. He's still here. He I'll see still what here. I can do. <laughs> um, what exactly see. is this little treat you mentioned? Are you gonna tell me about the spider it's heart It's the again? red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it. I drink it down, and my pain How's it going, friend? goes How are you away. Doing? Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. Can I give you a hug? I'm dying. <laughs> I think we're all it's dying, I heard. You she said okay. I'd go to Here. hell for it. But Come I didn't here. do anything. I didn't know. Oh Does he know? Who? Oh Him! Here. Right. <laughs> okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. It's a big mork! Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Are you doing big Do mork? you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe it's you a can. Mork. I see it in my <laughs> dreams sometimes. He's annoyed because I where the interrupted nurses him are. drinking water. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. He is big. I see it. Look at this chungus. Get it. Look at this it's belly. So near, and yet this so belly far. right here. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. He's got a good belly. You can you can see his nipples. <laughs> he's got he's got nipples. And he must show them. <laughs> hey, can you move? I don't want to roll you over, buddy. There you go. <laughs> Um, I'll talk anymore. to you later, yeah? Okay. Yes. Go. Be careful. They're the watching us. Boy, sometimes. And remember, <laughs> you must be nice to earn the red stuff. Don't Always ever say I nice. don't do anything for you. Poor woman. I brought you a mork. Hey, uh, Anne? I got you- I got you the dr I could drink it. We're gonna give it. I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> I've found the thing you asked me for, but are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Susan, are we really gonna take the word Fine. of a of a drug addict? I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name <laughs> back now, please? Hello, friend. Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. <laughs> Good morning. What do they? You know what? It doesn't matter. Susan, thank you for your help. The thing. Now we've got the name band. <laughs> you can, you can. Oh, I can't say you can have him. There's some people in this house that would be very upset about that, but it's fine. You can visit him all you want. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Hell yeah, oh, you can! Oh, alright. I didn't realize you knew how to read. There Savage! Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> we'll see you soon. I hope no, not! you won't. Now get out of my way. I like how we're leaving in our hospital gown. Also, is it bad that I was genuinely upset that there was no, <laughs> there is no screwy, the screw, uh, poster here? Arcade, you've ruined me. So door to some office. It's locked. Dr. X. And you must be Susan Ashworth. No, 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 um, I'm Ann Burton. <laughs> well, perhaps I am. Do you where mind if I ask you where you're heading to? <laughs> I was just going need, for a little walk. I need more screwing Stretch my, my legs. Oh, get some fresh air. <laughs> Gotta eat more screws. Uh, we are a... Give it a rest. Screwy I'm not going anywhere. Group here. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital, but luckily we managed to spot it on time. Did you on know? time? 
You have no idea what I've been through. <laughs> Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. My biggest I criticism personally about guarantee your you will have a good, not peaceful enough, really. sleep tonight. <laughs> and you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now. Let me I'm go. I'm really sorry, but we can't legally oh discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll Somewhere, have a chat please, in my office please, first thing in the do, morning, okay? you do and then you can go home. Game. Is that all right? <laughs> I haven't Obviously, really got much choice, have to. I? I just love Screwy. <laughs> now I'd he like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. Accurate. You might find them very personal. But it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. I don't wanna! Um, let's get it over with then, shall Secret we? I'd like to does. go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you it's living a, alone it's a at the moment? Uh, I live on my own and it suits me just fine. I live with a friend. She must be worried sick about me. I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time. Um, suits me just fine. I live on my own, and it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes <laughs> they annoy me or upset it's, me. No, it's like uh, I'm happy with how things are I, at the I moment. Guess it doesn't change that it's awful. I have my little but bit it's just of space, like, you know, and it's my own. Old it's private. I'd like to keep it that way. This is what bodies look what like. What do you do for a living? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, the context is awful. Um, <laughs> I'm between jobs. I'm between at jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. We must I find didn't more feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and tired most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. In theory. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? Drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. I eat breakfast cereal usually. I have a cup of tea and read a newspaper. I lie in bed awake. I can't bring myself to open my eyes. I go to the toilet, doesn't everyone? Put the TV on so I can watch old TV shows. Faith equals money. He's definitely a big pharma investor. Drink strong coffee and smoke I on the balcony. I drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. I know it's not a great start for the day, but it's one of my little pleasures in life that I find very hard to say no to. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? <laughs> Not really, I don't feel safe at all. Oh. I... Yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. Don't it makes me feel more like a failure. People. If I don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. Everybody's at different what do you think is life? missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Uh, it'd be nice to have some more money, good friends, better looking, some, something to fight for, you know? reason to go on. Um. Oof. We'll go with something we fight for. Right? Everyone is different. Everyone is human. Everyone comes from different backgrounds and circumstances. And just because they look happy something on the to outside fight does not for, mean that they are happy you know? on the inside. A reason to go Please on. Please take care of yourselves. There's always a reason to live. Sometimes we just don't see it that clearly. Well... Doctor, I must have gone all blind then, because I can't see any. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression? 
or some other form of counseling. It's gross for me. I hate group therapy. I hated doing group therapy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um. Yes, didn't much, as you can see. it we'll didn't help much, now. as you can see. Just something to think about. I can see you're Therapy's really willing process, to open up and talk about your issues. That's a positive sign. I... Right. I haven't really talked about my feelings I get that for it works for some time. people, but like... You're doing very well so far. Alright, I might attend that group. No, I understand, like, for some people why group therapy is, like, really good and it works for them. It does not work for me. I do not like it. Um... I struggle every to night, sleep every night. I take pills for that. I don't there take aren't pills any for that. left now, though. In the light of recent events, I think you should stay off those pills for a while. I suggest you drink some hot milk before bed instead. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? I feel fine now. I feel now. fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. She Not doesn't really sure how it. yet, okay. <laughs> but I really want to try. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Mm, yeah, sometimes. Yes, sometimes. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Only sometimes. Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes, when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think That's about suicide. Don't, don't Do you often simplified. think about suicide? Um... Well, I used to I think mean, about it sometimes. Don't you think about it when you're really down? Susan, <laughs> I'm a psychiatrist. A My job is to talk people out of it. Would you ask a fireman that? if he ever thinks about setting fire to his house? I suppose not. But I'm sure lots of people have times when they do think about it. I couldn't say, Susan. He's a the statistics man. show that men are three times more likely than women to commit suicide. That puts you in the minority. But of course, that's missing the point. Suicide is never the solution. There's always a way of solving whatever problem you might have. I realize He's that saying now. Words, honestly. Please, in your own words, try to explain to me <laughs> why did you really try to take your own He's life? He's just saying Susan? words. He's doing that bullshit that bad therapists do. Where they're like, but everything is fine. There are no problems. The The reason you feel this way doesn't exist, so you should just get over it. And it's like, that's not how my brain works, though. <laughs> uh, needless to say, this, this whole scene just absolutely infuriated me uh, when I first saw this game. Hold on. Oh, uh, just some impulse... Nothing was making me happy anymore. I wanted to show everyone how hurt I was deep inside. That's not how that works. Nothing was making me happy anymore. <laughs> there wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? He's the worst. I tried. He's I the really worst. tried to find something. Took a long oh. bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into Bubbles anything. Bubbles make it all better. Hi, Travis. All those things seemed like <laughs> worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete, needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I, I didn't even know I'd been crying until here. I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I, I looked like a ghost. <laughs> I looked like I was dead already, also, thank you, for the you know? Emmy. And then I saw the sleeping pills. I just want to, again, I, thought, I just want to give Susan why a hug. Not? And she I did just it. needs somebody to, like, actually listen Do to her? Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? What the fuck? Hey, Fruity. Who was your, who was your therapist? I just want to talk. That's not, yeah. That's not how that's supposed to go. Um, and I'm sorry that they were actual trash. 
yeah. sometimes when I feel yeah, that's really low, I just I used to think everyone would be happier <laughs> without me. But this I goes back to what I said earlier really of care. like. Besides, if I live alone. Who could I like, be? Like I get to? if you're going through some shit, what but that makes you take feel it out better? What makes me feel better? My cats. My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? Yeah, that's that's not how we handle those things. And I'm sorry that they were really awful. <laughs> uh, what makes it worse? It's hard to say. It could be anything. Loneliness, noise. I hate when it rains all the time. Inaccurate. People, they put me down too much. Hard to say. It could it's be anything. hard to say. It could be anything. Sometimes it could be just little things. The way my hair looks. Shoes I can't find. When I run out of milk, and I, bet I get that angry with myself for being and clumsy, in what you were talking for not about being able to cheer up and entirely. just get on with things, like everyone oh, else. Fruity. <laughs> Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? Yeah, that's not great. That's not great. <laughs> That doesn't help. Um, it's true. It's true. Um, oh, no, I mean, I never really even thought if one person thinks that. one therapist is great, but I mean that guess it would be a cheap one. It's okay really to shop around for a therapist. People like me. Maybe they just throw us in a hole and they're forget about for it. You, since there'd be the nobody to visit my grave anyway. I mean, it is I don't to an think extent, so, but like. Susan. The city if they don't work for you, for it. you have every right or to just so they want out. people to believe. <laughs> Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Let's not talk Eric. about Eric. Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? Um... Absolutely, it's... It's tough, and it's okay to take your time on it and not be able to address it immediately. Work on it in bits. Um, these are all avoiding the issue. I don't really want to talk about this. This has nothing to do with him. It's nothing to talk about. It's getting late. Can we talk about it some other time? I don't really want to I... talk about this. I don't really want to talk about this. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. You just but tell them no, hey, and then you leave. I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent. We are nearly done here. That's because he's the There's worst. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. <laughs> what exactly happened last night? Well, sleepy. after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We must go, Susan. You also, are not thank safe you for the contribution, here. Travis. But Please, you must follow me. Quickly. But yeah, you can always bring somebody into a therapy session if it helps you. And if your therapist I went no, after her. then you need a new one. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Oh, I think this is one of the... Hurry! I think this is one of the important Wait for me. choices. Tell me what's going on here. Well, let me look over my very brief notes that I made for myself about the endings. Um. Are you going, Susan? Okay. The security guys weird. were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Bubble. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. 
We're just gonna go. Oh, we're so fast! We're zooming through this hallway. Someone coming. Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Hold on, can we? Pause and save it all? Oh, oh my freaking only hands. <laughs> uh, we'll just call it chapter one, right? Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. So I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to like make some very important decisions here in a minute. Um, and since I think we're all dedicated to getting the golden ending, then I wanna make sure we can go back and fix it. That's a mattress on the wall. Alright, call the lift. Yep, this is, yep, yep, this is exactly what I thought it was. All right. Serious time. Oh, I guess I should probably What walk, are we doing right? on the roof? Oh, yes. Liz. Actually, we're going to save right here. Okay. What the hell are you doing? And why is there blood on your clothes? Liz. It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Liz, no. Let's both jump. It won't hurt. You'll see. Liz, no. Okay, again, I just want to double check my notes. I haven't told myself exactly what I need to do. I've just given myself, like, vague hints. Um, or at least the guide that I found was, like, very vague, which was nice. Okay, okay. okay. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. Basically, yeah. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Which Besides, is why I got very confused earlier and being like, oh god, did anyway. we already fuck it up? No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. I listened. You're a nice girl. <laughs> the fire exit is not. The fire exit is not. You on listened. Side. Did you really? Mm -hmm. Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A and D? This disappeared and was later found dead in the toilet. The one who kicked security guy in the crotch. Smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Jumped off the roof and broke her spine. Oh no! Disappeared? She disappeared and was later found dead in the toilet. You just made that up, didn't you? I've never said such a thing. You're a liar. But, okay, I can prove to you that I listened. Just don't jump. Please. You can prove it. Yeah, we say fine. it's fine. I'll give you a second chance. Did I tell you about my friend? I don't mate? remember her telling us. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? If you really listened, I do you remember, remember this I do one. remember the flatmate. Hold on. She's a stripper? I can't. Okay, we can't back out just yet. Um. Is she a waitress or is she a stripper? Oh, I did it bad. I wasn't listening. She's either a waitress or a stripper, and I think she's a stripper. She's a stripper. Yes. Okay. Or at okay. least that's what I think she is. You've listened. Because I remember them talking about I just sexy wish outfits. People did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. <laughs> what do you I'm know? I'm sorry, Liz. I was talking Why do you to you care, and anyway? chat. I... I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. Who was the I lady did. in a &E? I thought you of all people knew how it feels. When you're trapped, and you can't trust anyone. Was it the smoker Look, who burned in bed? I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. Yeah, well, he said he asshole. needed to go find himself. 
Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Valentine's. On Valentine's Day. Yes. Valentine's Day. You've got this one right. But it's not enough. Oh, I got the achievement Don't feel I responsible. Listen? You didn't cause me this pain. This Is that suffering. What I, I have to do this to be free again. Jump with me, Susan. Do it while you still can. No. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, hold on. I'm I'm worried. I am concerned because After that, I went back. I no, tried so telling listen. people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and so didn't I've believe left, me. Like, my, one of the notes that I have is that like it tells and me you which were absolutely sure I you saw Liz jump um, off this bit. If I do things properly, you know, I got the, the achievement it I needed. Matter. I just want to finish this and get some properly. fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a so matter I'm concerned, of fact, and we might I do it again just this to double morning. check. Yeah, no, She's we'll definitely fine. try. I'd like you to come with me Just and be prepared to watch Liz say eat hi. herself off of Make the sure building a couple of right. times. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. Susan? Susan, I need to be able to pause the, the game. The door is locked. I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. Susan, shit's wild. I like your and green life eyes make sense. and your sleek cheekbones. You're a and clever this guy girl, is, Susan. Is not but the safe. sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. For what it's worth, Please I would have let you go me. if it wasn't for Liz. on your clothes. Liz. I'm so sorry that we can't skip it's dialogue It's quicker than the stairs. All. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Let's both jump. It won't hurt. You'll see. This is a bad, this idea. Is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides... I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. Who was the girl in Annie? You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. I you don't listened. remember her mentioning that at did all. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. Mm. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A and E? So it wasn't she disappeared. Want to kick the security guy in the crotch? Is it is it the one who kicked the security guard? Actually, I don't think you told me that story. Actually, I don't think you told me Actually, that story. Actually, I don't think you told me that story. Maybe I didn't, or maybe you just didn't pay attention like everyone else. But okay, I can prove to you that I listened. Just More don't bubbles. jump, please. You can prove it. Fine. I'll give you a second chance. Did I tell you about my flatmate? Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? If you really listened, you will remember this one. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think Maybe. she is. You've listened. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. 
It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. We've already got to I thought you of all though, people so... knew how it feels when you're trapped Slightly different, I think. and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? <laughs> On we Valentine's Day. Regardless, yes. Travis. Valentine's Day. You've got this one right. But it's not enough. Don't feel responsible. You didn't cause me this pain. This suffering. I have to do this to be free again. Jump with me, Susan. Do it. While you still can. That dialogue no. was a little different, right? We're fine. Chat's fine. I'm pretty sure chat's fine. We just checked on chat. Chat, you're fine, right? Chat, we're cool? I think the dialogue was the same shit. After that, I went back. I tried telling well, we people to about Susan, Liz, like, get stabbed but again. they all thought so I was fun. crazy again and quick. didn't Hold believe on. me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. That is so cool. Facts, Susan, though. I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, uh, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's all right. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The wiki even says that, like, good answers lead to the scene achievement. The door is visit, locked? Which is needed to obtain a special ending. I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. So I'm assuming... I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm, I'm assuming it's the last two that are, like, super important. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. That's acceptable. You're Again, I totally understand if, like, if a game... This game in particular, but if any of the games that we play are ever, like, not for you, or too heavy, or just... Not in your jam! For what it's worth, I'm I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. That's acceptable. I do also just want to double check and make sure that everyone's, like, cool and fine. Because, again, this is heavier than what we usually play. Or is at least a little more, like... Explicit is not the word that I'm looking for, but... Feels right. Okay, hold on, so we gotta check in. specific answer and I want to see if this is better. We're all what I'm invested. Y'all are invested. Why is there blood on your clothes? We're just gonna watch Liz, Liz. constantly fall off the It's quicker than the room. stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. If this is, this is if this doesn't change anything, we're just the gonna only roll escape. with it. Let's both jump. Third time's the charm, right? You'll see. Okay. This is bad a bad idea. idea. It should be. Come down, and we'll talk. Girl, that like I've burned herself with a cigarette. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I did. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk We're a bubbles. lot, but I've always been a good listener. Travis I like is the talking only one to doing you. bubbles. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? I don't, the one about I the did, woman in A and E. Did look it up. She smoked a cigarette and burned yeah, in bed. She smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay. You have listened. There we go. 
Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. But I must I mean... jump anyway. I have no choice. <laughs> Wait. Please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yes, you do. I'm afraid you need to come back inside with me. And we'll just forget this like it never happened. Extremely specific. Okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? I bet uh, you don't remember that. A uh, stripper! She's a stripper. Yes. I also like how she... Or at least that's what I think she is. Is constantly You've being listened. like... You need to listen to me. I just but it's like a lot of these stories she told I'm me sure they do. the day that I showed up they at the hospital while I was like what still do you super know? groggy and like out Why of it. Why do you care anyway? And it's I like... I don't Liz? want you to make the same mistake I did. If I got I something thought wrong, you of all people knew how it I was feels when you're trapped doped up. <laughs> and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there okay. must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? On Valentine's, On Valentine's Day. Yes. Okay. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. You really listened to everything I said, after all. I... I'll be back. When you need help, I'll be there, Susan. But right now, it's time for me to let go. No! I was gonna say, I don't think there's a way to stop her from jumping, just because of what I know later on. But we got the better dialogue. We are on our way towards a golden ending. I'm invested in getting the golden ending, just especially for this game. Like, it was different. <gasps> but yeah, for a lot of other games, it's like I don't mind whatever ending I end up getting. But I need, I need the very, very good. After ending. that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought right, I was we're crazy get again by and didn't believe Dr. me. X. And you are absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this, this building. Chapter before the end of you know, the end of stream? it doesn't matter. At I just want to finish this and get some fresh She'll air. She'll show up when we need Susan, her. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. I've seen the As good ending for this game, but I've never seen like, I saw the her best this morning. ending, so I'm excited. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The well, there's door your is problem, locked. Susan. You didn't grab the handle. I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my Something gut's never there. wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. If only we were so lucky. Now we're the cat lady. <laughs> oh boy, am I the cat lady! Like the other Doctor X, but he's he's much cooler. The other Doctor X, much much cooler. Okay. Where am I? Oh, here goes. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I what it does. Oh. Eyeball. Eat your din din. Who are you? I can't believe you've done this. I will get you out of here. Unless you don't want to think. 
Is it playing it again? What is what is that, the sound alert doing? Two doors leading out of this place. Okay. One of them will simply take Susan back to where she belongs. But behind the other one, there is a great reward for her. It's something she always wanted. Something she longs for every single day. Where are those doors? I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I believe the Susan can't miss them. More bubbles! Is this... It is... Okay, hold on a second. Like my girls. I knew she would. Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. But they are here to guide, Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. They know which door she should enter to get her rewards. But there is one problem. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Like which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls it's always one of these. tells the truth. While the other one always lies. And I'm me? guessing you can't tell oh, okay. me which is which. Okay, I was like, are you which? telling me the one on the left? This is, alright, so this is how you solve this puzzle. You kill one, ask ask the other if the other one is dead, and then you can base your, base your response on, uh, on that. Okay, hold on. We're gonna save, because this is also extremely important. It's this hoe. It's this hoe. Okay. I know I- okay, well... Oh, I don't like that they move when I do. That's awful. Yeah, I- I don't vividly remember it, but I remember it. <laughs> I guess. Can I poke it? That'll teach you to stop staring. You horrible, ugly, dull. Okay, hold on. So, which door should I enter? Which door will lead me to my reward? Which door will take me back to my world? Is the door on the left the one I should open? Is the door on the right the one I should enter? Which door would the other doll point me to? Is the other doll a liar? If I enter the left door, will I get a reward? Which door would you enter to get the reward? Which door should I not enter? Um, a solution to this from Jim, Jim Henson's Labyrinth. Oh, really? Which door should I not enter? None of these are helpful because I can't ask the other one what it's doing. So, like, is the other doll a liar doesn't help me if I don't have a second question, right? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. So, that's a bad question, for obvious reasons. Most of these suck! Right? Again, like, if the other doll is a liar, like, if I ask is the other doll a liar, then it's gonna be a problem. Because I can't ask the other doll if the other's a liar, so I can't... Is it this one? Which door would the other doll point me to? Okay. 
Which door would the other doll point me to? So either... That's a lie. No matter what, that's going to be the wrong door. Right? Because either that doll is a liar, so it would tell me to go in this door. But if it's telling me the truth, if that one would tell me the truth, it would still point me to this door. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Big brain. Is, Fucking is this supposed to be my reward? Big brain. Flowers. I hate flowers. You lied to me. And I got the achievement I needed. We're good. You lied. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I still like my plan of killing one and then asking the other. But I get that it's that would help us in this instance. Fresh is waiting for you here. <laughs> Look at the lovely roses. Just like everything else. <laughs> they just turn into ash. If I was afforded a second question. Kill both and open both doors and look inside. I do like that one too. <laughs> okay. Well, we got the reward that we needed. Oh, that was terrifying. Okay. Um... Do I have to blow these out again? What time is it? I cannot leave. Alright, I don't know what this scene's gonna be, but again, just heads up. It's probably gonna be someone dying. Hi, old lady. might get that reference. <laughs> Bad sounds. Bad sounds. It's a hospital body bag. We're gonna save. Actually, no, we're not. Hold on. Hey. How bad have we done it? Ah! It's me! Hi, me! <gasps> Cyril, hi, welcome, how's it going? We greet our friends! You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. Red is definitely You'll pay a good color for, for this. Her. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. Oh, we angry. Um. Alright, hey Cyril, welcome. This game is very heavy. Uh, music's gonna stop for a second. If you need it. I us I mean, I usually just let them kind of pass through chat, but because we're constantly dealing with a, a shit ton of uh, con trigger warnings, potential trigger warnings, there's lists for you to check it out if you need to. Um, hi friend, we love you. Like, how does this guy still have a chum? He probably just takes the, you know, the nighttime interns. Nobody notices. It's the suicide note I wrote? Why would he put it up on the wall? 
we've already, that's what we saw at the very beginning of the game. Piece of sharp iron bar is stuck in the girl's chest. Take. Go get them headphones! Just in time to hear us stab a bad doctor. Brings the victims down here in a hospital bo in hospital body bags. Another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. Old rusty door. I missed what that all said! If I don't find anything else, maybe I can use this chair as a weapon? Nope, chair falls apart. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I don't like that it sometimes skips information. I remember. I remembered some of what he did and I forgot that it was this. Oh god, I've seen something like this before. The living paintings. Except this here is a dead body suspended on wires and tied to a chair. I knew it was some collector-esque bullshit. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. Okay. Alright. Seems he used a lot of makeup to turn her into the spitting image of Mona Lisa. There's a door there. That's- that's a lot of screaming. There's a door. This body is quite badly decomposed already. While real art lasts forever, doctors' models will soon rot and fall apart. That stick man, how did he manage to hide all this madness? Oh, that sick man. I guess he couldn't get a hold of an uh, ermine, so he used this creepy baby doll instead. I could probably find some use for this. I'm just gonna casually take this baby head. Danger sign. Seems this place has been closed down a long time. One day, when they eventually demolish it, all the evidence will get buried deep under the piles of rubble. <laughs> Arcade, no! This must be the only way out of here. God, it's Liz. But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet, here she is, stuck on a metal rod, looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. What happened then? Was it just a dream? Am I really going crazy, or...? That is fair, Cyril. Sorry, I only just saw your message. That's valid and understandable. This is why I have them there, so that people know whether or not what we're playing is for them or not. We love you, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for at least popping in and saying hi. It's always lovely to hear from you. Um, yeah, this one's a whole lot. I, again, this is one reason why I'm, like, constantly pushing the, the content warnings and stuff like that. For some of the other games, it's, like, they're not nearly as, um, not always as intense. I can't stress enough that this is a wonderful game, and it has a very, very lovely ending, but it's a journey. It's a journey there. So, take care of yourself. <laughs> Please and thank you. Uh, yeah. Was she really there? Just already dead? The pockets are empty. Uh, the funny smell Dr. X has is that he smells like specifically dead women. Not dead men. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, take. I got a key. Can I take her down, please? I hope at least you will find some peace and death. That's not a great way to take her down. I don't want to enter there just yet. Lights? It's not running right now. Take. Take soap. Soap take. Purple water? Creepy doll's head. It's got a hole at the bottom where it was attached to the torso. It's covered in 
some lather now. It might be useful for, for something, I guess. iron bar I found stuck in the dead body of a girl. I could use it as a weapon. If only I could make it longer. I need to find a way to extend it. Sink plus soap equals wash hands! Nope. Only lather. Skeleton. Fake skeleton. It'd probably been uh, used for teaching before it ended up here. Take? Take bolt? Bolt take? Salmon. Doctor probably considers himself quite an artist. Use. 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 <laughs> Use. Uh, I don't know what that said, but I think it mean it wants me to do this, or maybe not needs to be secured in place now, otherwise it will all just fall apart. That's it! I can take it now! I'm not entirely sure how she created that, but I'm here for it. Examine. Need a right size nut to secure the bolt. Oh, okay. Uh, return to room? Examine. We have a horrible doll head blade now. It's true. Fake skeleton had probably been used for teaching before it ended up here. Where can I get a bolt? In here? Did I miss something? Okay, there's nothing else on the corpse. he doesn't have real kicking action or nunchucks. I should have saved. Now I can leave I now and it. forever forget about this place and Dr. X. I have my own problems. I'm not cut out to bring murderers to justice. I've got the key. It's clearly been left here for me to find. Was it Liz who did it? If it really was her, it's clear she would have wanted me to leave. If she'd planned a revenge, surely she would have left me a fucking gun instead. On the other hand, oh, this I'm man so, is I'm a so serial concerned. killer. He murdered a lot of women. He murdered me. He will carry on killing if I don't put a stop to it. And I'm pretty sure none of those brain-dead idiots upstairs will believe my story. Just like when I told them about Liz on the roof. They'll never take my word over the doctors. I'm just a fucked up loser to them. You're not but they're screaming. Loser. He's got someone in there. His next victim. It's probably too late to save her. But what if it isn't? We gotta go back. I told the old lady I'm not a killer. Maybe I'm wrong. I've never tasted vengeance before. Not like this. I mean, what if also... it feels... We've not met Good. a terrible serial killer like this before. It's time to decide. Do I stay and fight? Or leave and carry on with my life like all this never happened? Oh, fuck. And I can't save! I've done a terrible thing. Hold on, let me double check. Um... <laughs> you fucked up, Arcade! <laughs> Good job, you tried. 
tried, you tried. I mean, I think we should kill him too. I just want to make sure that we're like... I just want to make sure we're doing it good, you know? I just want to make sure we're not fucking it up. And I think, I think we'll be fine. Stay. Okay, hold on. We are gonna save. Heal? <laughs> okay, but where? Where is he? Oh, we just didn't go far enough. Okay, same body. Another poor victim of the bad doctor. There's something shiny on one of her fingers. Is it? It's a. It's a nut. <laughs> Metal nut is stuck on her finger, like a ring. I could pull it off if the finger wasn't so swollen and stuff. Uh, use the soap. Perfect, beautiful, love that for me. I mean, we might as well, right? We got the thing. Use. Use. Now I just need to tighten that nut using some tool. Fucking hell, Susan. <laughs> I mean, I'm here for killing this man, but like, her limp body is positioned in the exact same way as the painting. Seems the killer used wire to keep her head tilted to the side. Locker. Examine. Rusty metal locker. Let's open it quietly. A wrench! Take. No, it's run back. Check out the art while we're doing it. We're going a little over time, but it's fine. I would like to see this doctor die before the end of stream. You know how it is. Oops. Weapons complete. I suppose it's time to go and see the doctor. We got two weapons. Everything's fine. Return to room. Save. Uh, weapons. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna oversave now that I know where the save function is. <laughs> Shall we? Ma'am, ma'am. I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch. Scream your lungs out. Jesus louder, Christ. I said. Yes, this is by far my favorite of songs. This fucking dude, though! Would you like me to dance for no. you? No! Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. We are chickens, we're cat Your ladies. scream is like a poem without words. Dude, this guy, though, you were kind of right about the double eye patch. He, he's wearing a mask and a blindfold. He's convinced I'm dead and no one knows about this place. Well, it looks like we just made it- or you just made a big mistake, you arrogant asshole. Your body. An instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble Wait, with excitement. Wait, is that Anne? Your body will forever be admired by this those dance, like though. me. Who understand the only pure and true form of art. one-liner you'll feel a sharp scratch or do you believe in karma doc you'll feel a sharp scratch you'll feel a sharp scratch <laughs> Jesus Christ all right 
great, we did it. Hi, ma'am. Finally got what he deserved. I hope he rots in hell. I've just saved this girl's life, but why do I still feel so angry? Thank you. Sneeze. Thank you so much. He would have... He would have killed me. Like the other... Excuse me. The animal. Yeah, you, you he was, gave he him what he deserved. Who are you? I'm the cat lady! <laughs> they call me the cat lady. Doesn't matter. Forget you ever it saw me. It doesn't matter. Go. Forget you ever saw me. Now get um, out of here. I can only Call handle the so much cheese in one, in one section. I'm going home. Oh my god. Okay. Chapter 2 complete! We're on chapter 3 already? There are only 7 chapters, mind you. We're not Batman, we're man bats! Standing by the river, I wonder... Do I need a stone? No. My heart is heavy enough. Oh, goodness. It will drag me down for sure. Oh, Susan. Can I pause? I would like to pause and save. Because we're going to call stream there. But I need to save. Oh, finally I'm back home. I'll be safe here. Oh, I'm dying for a shower, something to eat, some coffee, a cigarette. Love to see my cats too. Let's just pretend for a minute that everything is back to normal. I survived after all. Maybe now I can try to enjoy little things in life. Okay. Yeah, I can do this. One step at a time. Alright. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Um Well we did it. We got we got through Yeah, we're quitting. We're quitting. Um so that's the first two chapters of the cat lady. There are seven chapters in total. Uh so I imagine like another sit down or two and we'll be through it i hope you guys liked it i know <laughs> it's a very heavy game i keep saying that and i know it but it's so good and like you haven't even met the best character yet i'm very excited i think i think they show up in this chapter so i'm very stoked about that um whoever we're raiding tonight we're gonna raid somebody super wholesome because <laughs> we got it right uh does anybody have any suggestions for wholesome raids or a game we can find a game and we can find somebody that way uh to check out and hang out with i appreciate y'all hanging out and being here with me while we play this <laughs> um yes do do if they can, if they are, if they are up for handling it, they should definitely do it. It's a brilliant game, and it's still just as good as I remember it so far. Um, I'm very excited for when we get into like some of the later stuff. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. Ah! Um, what are some good like wholesome games? It's like Stardew and stuff like that. I wonder if anybody's playing Sunhaven. Um. I mean, there's lots of people doing Stardew, that's a fact. Um... Who are you? <gasps> Cross Rock's doing Stardew? Why did they not show up on my thing? Do I have just too many people on right now? We go say hi to Cross Rock. It's been a minute since we've gone and raided them. Let's go say hi to Curls Rock. We love Curls. Curls is precious. 
Um, but yeah. And that Stardew's a good a good game to chill out to post very heavy stream. <laughs> Again, thank you everyone for being here and hanging out. I love y'all and like I appreciate that you guys are totally cool with me checking stuff. Well, not checking out, but like streaming this kind of stuff. Um, obviously we're not going to do it all the time. I get that it's a lot, but it's nice, especially to share something that like means a lot to me. I can share more about that in, uh, in the discord if people want to hear my stupid sob story, uh, about how, how much this game means to me, but, uh, <laughs> it's a whatever. Anyway, we'll be back on, what is today? Wednesday, Friday, Friday morning. I'm probably going to start Luigi's Mansion, um, for our afternoon stream. And then uh, we're doing a friend Friday uh, in the evening. We're gonna play some grounded with some folks. If people have that want to join us, I think we have a spot open. Um, until then, I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. Hey, be extra kind to yourselves over the next few days for me. <laughs> in light of this game, be extra nice to yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Love yourself. <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see y'all later. Take care. Goodbye.